We're talking here about conjugation and what just that means, what that word is, what it's referring to, because once you get in a foreign language class, especially a Spanish class, you constantly hear about conjugate this, conjugate that. Don't forget about your conjugation rules. Conjugate, conjugate, conjugate. Um, it's a word that we don't really use in English that often, um, although we do the same act. We really do the same exact thing in English. So just looking at what exactly we're doing and why we're doing it when it comes to Spanish. Um, basically, a simple definition of conjugate is to combine or join together. So it's kind of like taking two different things and joining them, connecting them, combining them, making them uh, fit together, so to speak. So when we connect that to English, we're simply talking about subject verb agreement. Um, we're making the verb sound correct for the subject. And so like if we think in English, um, if we're saying, if we're talking about the verb to be, we do not say I be. We do not say I is. We say I am. And so subject verb agreement. That's the same thing we're doing in Spanish when we conjugate is we're making sure our subject and verb agree with one another. So, in Spanish, we are taking the subject and, and verb and combining them. We're connecting them together into the correct form. That's what we're doing. We're doing the same thing. Now, so not going into how to conjugate verbs, but we have a pretty common verb conjugation here on the board. We're talking about the verb hablar, which means to speak. It's a regular AR verb. Now, we see out here our verb endings, o, as, a, almost, and on. Not really what we're talking about today, but what we see is the root form of the verb is the verb hablar. That's what's called the infinitive. And so it's hablar, but the stem of it is the H-A-B-L. So what we're really doing is we're taking this part, you know, we're taking this verb, we are combining it or conjugating it with these subjects like yo or tu, like yo is I, tu is you, L is he or A is she. We're taking these things, connecting them together, which is giving us our correct verb. So when we take yo, which is I, we don't say yo hablar, just like we don't say I to speak in English. We say I speak. In Spanish, we say yo hablo or hablo. That is the one difference between English and Spanish is often you do not have to say the subject. You can, you can say yo hablo, but you can also say hablo. They both mean the same thing. But essentially what we're just doing is we're taking this subject, like nosotros, which is we. We're taking the we, which is nosotros, and we're taking the hablar, and it gives us hablamos. This is our, this is our verb that is conjugated. Hablamos has correct subject verb agreement. It's saying we speak. It is not saying we to speak or we speaks. It is correctly saying we speak. Once again, we could say nosotros hablamos, or we can just simply say hablamos. So when we talk about conjugation in Spanish, we're really talking subject verb agreement. We're making sure our verb sounds correct and, it, and is in the correct form for our subject.